Hello? Yeah, I'd like to report robbers. Yeah, they're in Osaka, Japan. Thank you very much. So I know this one wasn't really meant to be the, the, the true top 10 I was promising, but uh, to hold you guys over for another uh, uh, week while I work on the top 10 scariest Mario enemies, because I have plans for a video I want to make on Monday. Here's the thumbnail. Look at that. That's a great thumbnail. Anyways, earlier today, Nintendo, thinking that they were not dummies enough, and not announce the price for the expansion pack, which we were all waiting to see. It comes out on October 25th, and I don't mind the release date, but I mind the price. Seriously, Nintendo? Seriously. Me, personally, I would have priced that at around 30 bucks maximum, because it does not have a GameCube, which is a system that people have been wanting to do for Nintendo's virtual console for years. If that uh, that one system was added, that would probably uh, make the $50 worth it. But no. Instead, it's $50 for no apparent reason. We get N64 and Genesis games, and then we have paid DLC for Animal Crossing. Three things that did not need a $50 price tag along with everything else. So, please Nintendo, listen to the fans for once and drop the price, not for a limited time, but for good. And trust me, you're gonna get a lot of more fans for this. Something I always thought was odd was how the Nintendo Switch Online service did not like have like a separate virtual console app that was as good as the Wii Shop channel. I wish, I, I want them to bring the Wii, uh, a similar version of the Wii Shop channel and uh, classic gaming. So, the thing is, I need that to happen still. Sure, we have NES and SNES games, but NES games specifically have been pushed down our throats for so long. Sure, back in 2006, it was cool, because people wanted to play these legendary games again. But now, since just, just because they're so easy to make... I mean, dude, N64, GameCube, and Wii games not only uh, can be good with the Switch, as proven with Super Mario 3D All-Stars, but the Switch has the capabilities to run all those games, no matter what control layout they have to do. Kinda like Dolphin, where you're, it, where you're calibrating a controller, Something like that, but you know, it's Nintendo. They're never gonna listen to the fans to begin with because they just know that you're gonna buy whatever. It's kind of like Apple. They announce uh, like some stuff from the iPhone that you can care less about, but they announce that one thing that'll make you go, "All right, I'll." Uh, I'll burn my entire house on fire and sell it just to buy this new iPhone. And I hate that. So it's time to make a change because I think me and some other Nintendo fans are getting tired of it. And 2022 better be a banger, not only because I want the Mario movie to succeed, but hopefully we're getting like a big Mario game because 20. 2022 is kind of being similar to 2017. We have Breath of the Wild 2, we have Splatoon 3, and we have Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope. What's next? Super Mario Odyssey 2. Please Nintendo make it happen. It will sell twice as much, no, just as much units as Mario Odyssey did in four years in just one year. And I can Guarantee it. That's a halikita to guarantee. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys on Monday. And, you know, just a preview for Monday. Reddit is not going to be happy.